In this video, I'm going to be giving you the five best new running shoes of 2023. What is up everybody and welcome to 40 Runs and Running Shoe HQ here in the UK. Yes, we're giving it to the masses here in the UK. Now, let me know in the comments, what is your favourite running shoe of the year so far? Now, there's been some amazing releases, but like I said at the start, I'm going to give you the best five that I think have come out so far. Now, it is relatively early in the year, but I do think it's a good point in which to stop and reflect and look back at what's come out so far, because there's been some absolute crackers. Now, there's been some absolute crackers that have come out in 2023, and I'm gonna give you five today, but I think there is some other shoes that could have made this list. But I wanted to focus on these five because I wanted to sort of bring the list down and give it some focus, so hopefully it helps you in terms of your buying decisions. Okay, so we're gonna start with what I think is the most comfortable running shoe, probably ever, and that's the Nimbus 25. We've got over 100 miles in this shoe, and it's been an absolute joy. So we've got over 40 mil uh, of stack with the Flight Phone Blast Plus. They've totally re-engineered this shoe with this lovely jacquard mesh upper. We've got a little bit of cheeky pure gel in it. Uh, it's, it's not overly light. It's like pff, 11 something ounces in my UK 9.5, but it fits true to size. The outsole is a questionable, I would say, uh, but it's just so comfortable with this shoe. And they, they've done an amazing job with this. They brought it back to life. They've, the Nimbus line was just sort of dying on its knees because the Nova Blast was so popular. But what they created here, and to be honest with you, the, the Cumulus to a degree, and I think I pronounced that wrong, but with the Nimbus, let's just concentrate on this, I think it is, it's just a remarkable turnaround from ASICS. It really is an amazing running shoe, people. It can do the easy stuff, it can go long, you can just plot a battle with it. It's just a great shoe. The only thing that holds this shoe back is its price. So hold on out there and pick these up a little bit cheaper later on in the year. Okay, the next shoe on my top five is the New Balance Propel version four. Now this shoe came out of nowhere. I wasn't expecting it, was you expecting it? And this has taken the space for me where the Speed 3 was. It's got a nice uh, breathable upper, but it's it's 120 pounds, but uh, you know, you can get this now under 100 pounds already. This is a really good shoe, people, at the price point. I think this is one of the best best priced new shoe. So I'm not talking about getting a discounted like DV8 Nitro 2 or something like that. I'm talking about a new shoe uh, in terms of price point. I think this really does offer incredible value. I wouldn't say the overall um, production of it is of the highest quality, but I think you're getting what you pay for in terms of that. But it really is a good shoe and it came out of nowhere. And it's just a fabulous shoe to run in. You can do a bit of everything in it. And I really, really like it. Okay, the next best shoe of 2023, and I really do think you should consider getting this shoe, is the Forever Run Nitro. This is a fantastic mild stability shoe. The guidance in this shoe is very subtle, but it really does work well. You've got Puma grip on the outsole, so this, this thing is built to last. You've got a great upper. It fits true to size. You've got the Nitro foam, so it just flies along if you want to. And even on those recovery days, you could just glide along. You've got a little bit of support with the power tape. It's just a great running shoe. They've really done a fantastic job, Puma, with the Forever Run. It really, really is a good running shoe, people. And I think it's one of the best, if not the best, of 2023 so far. Okay, two shoes to go. Uh, the next shoe for me is the Rocket X2. I know it's the other end of the spectrum in terms of price point. Uh, this is a great shoe. It came, you know, to me out of nowhere. I wasn't expecting to get on with this shoe. The Piba foam in this is so exciting. It's so lively. You've got to watch your sizing, um, but I tell you what, if you can get this shoe dialed in, it is so much fun. And the final shoe for me in the top picks of 2023 so far is these, the Nike Vaporfly 3. Now this was one of the most hyped shoes of the year so far, and I had real trepidation when this thing was coming out. I thought, oh God, they're gonna ruin it. But you know what, the new upper on it, I really like it. Um, it does gather in places, it's not the sort of ultimate fit, but I really prefer the breathability of it versus the previous versions. But I just like what they've done with the shoe. I ju it just feels, maybe I'm, uh, maybe I'm going mad, but it just feels lighter and it just feels snappier. I really like the new outsole design on it. It's not making too much noise. And it's, you know, it's just giving me even something to think about 
about the marathon distance because I never thought in this world I'd be able to run in a Vaporfly in the marathon. But this shoe, honestly, I'm really seriously considering at the end of the year running my autumn marathon in it, which I think says everything about the shoe. So yes, this also is one of the best shoes so far in 2023. Right guys, so they're my sort of top five picks so far. There are some noticeable absentees. Uh, let me know in the comments whether you agree, disagree, whether there should be some other shoes that we should put in that list. Let me know. Obviously, the shoes from Sketches this year I think are, are amazing. The Max Road 6 is incredible. The Go Ride 11 is incredible. But I think, you know, they're the sort of top picks so far because those Sketches shoes, for example, are just coming out. There's obviously other shoes that are on their way or just landed, but I've not got them and tested them. So uh, these are the shoes, I think, looking back that so far have hit the mark. There's a lot coming out, a lot coming out, and I don't want to get into that in this video. I think I wanted to really give you those sort of top five shoes so far of the year. But more importantly than anything else, let me know in the comments, what's your sort of top pick so far of this year? Right, guys, okay, so that's it. Let me know in the comments, like I said, if you agree or disagree. Uh, I'm super excited for what's coming around the corner. Shoe development is, is insane at the moment. The prices is also insane, so hopefully that gets down. That's why, really, I like the Propel version 4. I think that is priced perfectly but yeah like i said also maybe pick up the nimbus 25 you can get that cheaper as well little top tip there right okay that's it from me guys i only want to do a short video i'll catch you later <laughs>